Who's gonna plan your funeral? Well, first of all, you should plan your own damn funeral. Don't leave that up to your kids. Uh, I experience this all the time with my families, and on a personal note, I experienced this with my own father about three years ago. And as much as I do this for a living, it includes assisting families through the dying process, through death, through uh, estate administration and all that stuff. Um, I had never lost a loved one in my personal life where I was responsible for going to make a funeral arrangements. And my dad passed away unexpectedly and uh, over a weekend and that next Monday, I found myself sitting in a funeral home with people that I actually knew because I work in the you know, senior industry. And so they were very kind and very nice, but there was a million things that uh, was on my mind and a million places that I would have rather been in that moment than sitting in the funeral home with people I actually knew, planning my own father's funeral. It sucked. And I always preach to my clients, uh, even before that time, that you should plan what you want because you don't want your children or your families making important financial decisions that can be very expensive um, when they're in the middle of grieving and trauma and drama and everything that goes along with losing a loved one. So if you have not planned your own final arrangements, it doesn't matter. You want cremation, you want burial, you want a service. There's a place here in Tampa that actually turned one of their funeral homes into a speakeasy. So your funeral could be pretty much held at a bar. So if you have to have a funeral, that's not a terrible place to have one. But do your, fa your children, your families a favor. Figure out what you want. Pay for it. I had a family that wanted to, there a client one time that wanted to become a fish reef. And so we sent her over a place in Sarasota called Living Reef and they cremated her and then poured her cremains into concrete and turned her into a fish reef. So whatever floats your boat, different strokes, different folks, as I always say, but don't leave it up to your family. They don't wanna be dealing with that after um, grieving your loss. So that's my tip of the day is love your family and one of the things you can show them you love them is by giving them a phone number. When the day comes, all they do is call the number and they show up and everything is done for them. Think about it, have a good day.